Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will be covering one of the SQL interview question that is recently asked in Affine Technologies interview. So we need to find out the second Wednesday of the current month. The interesting part here is we have not given any input table. Based on the current date, we need to find out the second Wednesday of current month. So right now we are on the July 2024. The second Wednesday is falling on 10th July 2024. So that is what we need to get in the output. We need to write a query in such a way. Suppose if I am running this query in the next month, that is August. So in the August, when is the second Wednesday? That date we need to get in the output. So let's see how we can solve this. The current month is July 2024. So in the July 2024, the second Wednesday is falling on 10th July. So that is what the date we supposed to get in the output. I will be solving this by using a two steps. First of all, I will generate all the dates in the July month. From those dates, I will filter uh, only Wednesdays. Uh, we will be generating a row number on top of it. And then we can easily find out a second Wednesday. So step by step, if I explain. So first of all, I will generate all the dates starting from July 1 till 31st July. So once all the dates are generated, this is the first step. Once all the dates are generated, as a next step, I will generate a row numbers. So before generating a row numbers, I will find out the weekdays. So which day is having a which weekday. So after generating a weekdays, we'll just filter out only Wednesdays. So we have Wednesdays, 3rd July, 10th July, 7th July, and so on till 31st July. So these are all the days which is having a Wednesday. So from these Wednesdays, we'll be generating a row number. So starting from row number one to five. So if you want first Wednesday, we can give row number one. If you want to filter second Wednesday, we can give row number two. So in that way, by using a row number, we can filter only the dates, uh, which is having a second Wednesday and a July month. So this is the approach I'm going to follow. So with this approach, not only second Wednesday, in case if you want to get a third Wednesday or fourth Wednesday, not only a Wednesday, if you want to get a second Monday, third Monday, or second Tuesday, third Tuesday, anything we can achieve with this approach. So in case if we have any other alternate approach, please post in the comment box. So let's see how we can solve this by using a SQL. We can start writing a query. We don't have any input table. Uh, based on the current date, we can generate the dates and we can generate a row number later. So in a SQL server, we have something called get date function. So if I give here, select get date. And if I run this, you see, we are getting a date along with the timestamp as well. So by using this uh, get date function, we can generate all the dates and then we can use our own number. Now, so what I want to do, so as a first step, what I will do is, I will get the first day of the current month, that is July 1st. So I will get a July 1st date. So once I get a July 1st date, uh, based on the date, I will generate all the remaining dates in the July month. So to do that, what I will do is, maybe I will be using a date from parts function. So let's see how dates from parts function works. Date from parts. So basically date from parts function, it returns a date value in the output with the date portion we are setting to a specific year, month, and day. So let us say if I give here to run 24 as a year, month. So month will be a July. So I'll be giving a 09. And I want to add a first day that is a 01. So with this, if I run this, now we are getting a first day of a July. But this is the hardcore values. I don't want to give hardcore values. I want to give a based on the current date. So to do that, we're using a get date function. Uh, from the get date function, we'll be extracting only year. So first thing I'll be giving here, get date. So get date is the function it is giving a date along with the timestamp. So on top of it, I'm using here year function to extract only year from the get date. Same thing I will do for a month as well. So instead of giving a hard code month, so I will give a get date function from this get date, from the whole date, I will be extracting only month here.
Now, if I run the same query, we'll get a same answer. Okay. Yeah. So July is the seventh month. So yeah, should be seven. So this is the July month. Now we're getting a month here. Now uh, maybe I will give this as a dates. I will give the this, this name as a dates. Okay. So in this way, we are getting a first month date. In the same way, we need to get all the months date. So if you want to get all the months date, maybe we can use a union all. So let us say if I, if I give the same query and if I give date here as a two, I will get a second day. See, we are getting a July 1st, July 2nd. In the similar way, we can get all the month dates for a July. So starting from July 1 to 31st. But this is the hard code query. So if you want to write uh, the same query, we need to write a 31 times because July having a 31 days. So instead of writing this query, maybe we can go with um, uh, CTE. So we can use a recursive CTE. So based on the first date, we will keep on adding a one date to the date. So for July 1st, I will add a day one. It will become July 2nd. On the July 2nd, I will add a one more day. It will become July 3. So in this way, by using a recursive CTE, you will keep on add a one day to the dates the column we have the first value we generated so that we'll get all the 31 days so to do that we can use a recursive city so before using a recursive city how one day is adding to this query we'll be seeing that first so here i will be using a um, date add function so this date add function uh, what it do it it sum up the time and date intervals to the date uh, we are specifying. So here I want to sum up the date. So I will be using here uh, date yard. I will be using here day because I want to add a day. So I want to add a one day every time. So I will be giving a, uh, the expression as a one. Now what is the value we need to give? So we need to give a dates. So this should be supposed to be here. So now what it do? Uh, the first value. So this query will give us a first value, July 1st. So July 1st will come here. To the July 1st, it will add one day. So it will become July 2nd. So next time, it, a recursion is happening here. Next time, to the July 2nd, it will add one more day. It will become July 3. And so on till it goes to July 31st. Okay. So to test it out, maybe instead of this, I'll give the whole thing here. Give this here. And if I run this query, we can get a July 2nd. See, we are getting July July 2nd. Okay. So like that, a recursion will happen. So to make sure recursion happen, we can uh, convert into a CTE and uh, we can do a recursion uh, so that uh, these dates will come from a recursion. Okay. So to do that, I will be creating a CTE here. With CTE. Yes. So this is how we are creating a CTE. And uh, if I run here, select star from CTE. So what it do? So it will generate a first date, July 1st. Uh, to that first date, it will add a uh, day two, day three, day, uh, day four. So like that, all the days, it will add it. Okay. Now if I run this one, yeah, here I supposed to give a, a CTE name. So we are getting uh, these dates from a city. So we need to give here city. Now if I run this one, see what is happening here. Uh, the statement has terminated. The maximum recursion is hundreds has exhausted. So which means the recursion is not getting stopped here. So starting from July 1, so it is keep on adding a day one. So July 2 is coming, July 3, July 4, July 5. So the, these records are going till infinity because this recursion is not getting stopped. So if you want to stop this recursion, we need to add a where condition as well here. So what where condition will do? So I will view uh, where condition. I will apply condition July. So we want to generate a dates only for July month. So the same thing we will give in the where condition and the month should fall under July only. So I'll give here where 
the date should fall under july month only okay so i will be checking for month here from this query it will check only for month so month should be july so it should be july only so this i can give but to get this dynamically i can give this formula same formula so with this query what it will do it will check the condition uh, it will check for only july month so it will generate only dates for july starting with july 1 july 2nd july 3rd till 31st july so all these dates starting from july 1 to 31st july all these uh, date months are falling under july so if it is crossing to july and it is going to august this condition will fail and recursion will stop so that is how recursion will work now if i run this query now see it is generating so first date this is the first date it is giving july 1 to 24. now how we are getting a second july based on this recursion we are using so to this date we are adding a one so july 2nd is getting In the next recursion again next one more date is adding here we are getting july 3 and one more recursion july 4 so like that it is keep on uh, recursing and uh, till 31st july we are getting a recurse so when it reaches to august first august this condition will fail and recursion will stop okay so in this way we are generating a dates starting from july 1 till 31st july so now this is easy so once we are getting a dates now it is uh, very easy to generate a row number based on this row number uh, we can generate a row number and get only second best okay so let's also look into that step uh, i will be using here select star from cte um, what i do here uh, maybe i will find out find out a, a weekday of it so let's find out a weekday here by using a date name function we can get the weekday so what is the weekday? Is it a Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday? So weekday function I can use here. So we're supposed to get a weekday. So I'm giving a weekday here. So on top of a dates. So on top of this date, it will be dates. I will take this as a weekday. Now let's run this query. Now see, based on this date, by using a date name function we are extracting only weekday okay so this is the values so these are the values starting from 1 to 31 these are the values we are providing from these values we are getting only weekday so that is a monday to stand all by using a date name function now once we get these uh, weekdays so we can write a condition here where this weekdays weekdays is equal to west day Okay, now if I run this, now see, in the July month, we are getting all the Wednesdays. Now, once we get all the only Wednesdays, uh, by using a row number, we'll generate a row number first, and we can filter only second Wednesday. That is very easy. So on top of this, we'll also use a row number function now. Okay, so based on what? So based on our order by dates. So we want in a ascending order. So we'll give order by dates. Okay. So this will give row number. Okay. So if I run this now, yeah. If I run this now, we'll get a row number. Now see, we have dates. We have a weekday. We are getting a row number. Now once row number is generated, so it is very easy. Now we can filter only row number two, which is a, a second Wednesday of a July month. Maybe I'll be creating a one more city out of it. Okay. So now we'll run this. Select star from city to where row number is equal to 2. Now see, we are getting only second Wednesday. So this query 
not only give a second Wednesday. So in case if you want to get a third Wednesday, so let's give here row number three. So 17, 7 to 24 is the third Wednesday in the July month. Now if I give four here, you will get a fourth Wednesday of the month. Not only a Wednesday. So let us say if we want to check for Monday. So when is the fourth Monday happening in the July month? Okay, so we do Monday uh, four. So fourth Monday uh, of the July month is happening on 22nd, 7th, 24. In the same way, if you want to check for second Monday, I can give here row number two. Now see, so the Monday is, uh, second Monday is happening on uh, 8th July. Okay. Now, if I run the same query next month in the August, so in the August, it will take the date, current date. So based on the date in the August month. So whenever the second Monday is happening, it will give that particular date. So in this way, by using this query, we can find any of the a week it can be a first first one day second monday third monday or anything it can be achieved by this query if you have any other alternative approach so which will give the expected output uh, please post in the comment box so that's all for this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed yet